So we're going to take you through just the quick steps of the coding program for the decorator robot. Now this program is very, very, very simple um, because it's designed to be easy and accessible by all. So here we are in the Lego Mindstorm software application. We are here on the home page and we're going to go to projects. And in projects, just like everything we've done so far, you're going to scroll down past these robots to the other and we're going to create a new project here with this plus icon and we're going to choose word blocks and it's going to go ahead and take us here to a new project for us to go ahead and design so we're going to go up here first and we're going to rename this project and i'm just going to call it decorator you can call it whatever you want but make sure i've got that in place and we're actually just going to write a very, very simple code that will get our motors moving collectively together at the same rate. And so all we need to do is create one simple code and then we will duplicate it. So we're going to start here with the when the program starts. You could change this if you would like, if you want to have it triggered by a sensor um, or another type of activation. For me, we're just going to start with getting it going right when we go ahead and start the program, whether that's through Bluetooth or downloading it to the brick and hitting the, the start button. So when the program starts, we're going to head here to movement and we are going to choose the set movement motors. And we need to establish what these motors are going to be. So we've got two sets of motors, so we're going to actually have to do this two times. But for the one set of motors, we are plugged into ports F and B. So we're going to go ahead and select those. And then we're going to go over here and set the movement speed. And in this case, we are going to set it at 70%. You're going to be able to adjust this percentage to your liking in terms of how fast your egg or holiday ornament actually spins on your robot. And we want to make sure that it's actually moving straight. So we're going to put a start moving straight block just like that. Then the next step that we're going to do is we're going to right click up here on the when program starts and we're going to duplicate this. And we're going to have the exact same set of code except for now we're going to change the motor ports and we're going to make this A and E for the second motor frame that we've built in this robot. And that is literally it. Once you have this in place, the things to keep in mind is you always want your movement speeds to be the same. And in this particular case, we need to make this negative where we have it set up so that the wheels are spinning in the same direction and not spinning opposite, which is going to cause your round object to kind of bump around. So once we have this in place, we can go ahead and run it either through Bluetooth or download it, whatever your preference is through your phone or tablet. And uh, you should have lots of success. And then you just Make sure you change these movement speeds, keeping one positive, one negative, to get it to the liking of your, of your choice. And that, my friend, is how we program the Decorator robot. Enjoy, and I can't wait to see what you design. So here is the egg decorator, the ornament designer, whichever it is that you're trying to do, any round object. And so we can see here that we have our wheel here, the one that shifts, clear to the back. And so we use these red pins as you can see right here and if we were to pull these out and take off these side pieces we are left with this item and this slides up and down depending on the size of our object if we're doing an egg or an ornament in this case we're doing an ornament so we're going to go ahead and make sure these are pinned into the back right corners And our side pieces have these pegs here, and they are already preset for what works for an egg in general and a regular size holiday ornament. So in this case, we're gonna use the outside blue pegs. And it'll snip, clip in just like that. And we've got these little dividers that sit kind of just perfect. So we don't have to take these on and off um, when we're changing from ornament to egg. We can just keep it all in place. Now, you will notice that here on the side, we've got the three by three teal piece. And what we're gonna do is, 
I've got my ornament right here. Typically they come with a little covering just like so. We'll pop that off and usually you will have a, a circular insert. And we're gonna use one of these axles to hold it in place. And so what's gonna happen is over here on the side with the teal piece, you've kind of got three different slots depending on the size of your ornament. And I know just through some testing before this video, the bottom slot works best. So I'm gonna push this axle through and then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put the axle right into the hole of the ornament. This is just gonna hold it and kind of stabilize in a place while it's spinning around. And now we are ready to design. So what you're gonna need is to get your, your markers of choice, your colors of choice, and we'll go ahead and demo this right now. Okay, so once you go ahead and start the program, the ornament will start to spin. And I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a couple markers here. And what you'll do is just kind of take your Sharpie or your marker and gently press it on the ornament. And I can create a single line. I can expand out if I want. I could then add another line or color. And you can see that it does a good job of holding it in place while we work. When we're done, we just pull the axle out and we've got ourselves a nice little ornament that you can now hang on the tree. Come up with all sorts of designs that you would like. You can create squiggles and different patterns. You could even work to have it spin the other way. There's lots of things that we can do. But here is what it looks like for a ornament. Let's take a look at what it looks like when we go to design an egg. Okay, so we know that an egg is not an egg is not going to fit here. It's too big. So this has been designed to be adjustable. So we're going to take these side pieces off, like we see here. We're going to pop off these red connector pins here, and then we're just going to slide this where we need it to be. So so I know just from, from trial and error that I'm going to move up where I've got two open pinholes there. And I can always test my spacing. I've already got these marked with these inside blue pins. So I know that if I go here, this is where I need to connect. I've already got it measured from trial and error. And again, these outside ones kind of just provide a little bit extra support and they're not in the way. So we don't have to take those off, which is really nice. And now here we are with our egg one. Now. With the egg, I'm not gonna need this axle piece because I'm not gonna puncture the actual egg shell. So let's go ahead and grab an egg and see how it looks and works with the egg. All right, so we're gonna place my egg here. Hard boil works best. There are plastic eggs that you can also do as well. These work just fine, uh, but we're gonna use a regular egg. The weight really works well holds it in place and the egg spins just like our ornament. So I might come in here with just a smaller type pin. And you can just have some fun with various designs. Spin it out that way. So again, you can see this works wonders and we've got our egg here and I can add some more design and colors too if I want, um, you know, and away you go.
So here is your egg and ornament designer. I would love to see which designs you come up with and other things that you create. And I hope you enjoyed this build and this demo of our egg decorator ornament designer. Take care.